Hi hey guys, this is Omer from MLS.com. I'm going to do a quick uh, first impressions gameplay video for InSpirit Online, a 3D fancy MRPG uh, developed by a Korean company called Esta Games. I'll spend about 10 to 15 minutes running around checking this game out. Make some comments. If you guys want to play InSpirit Online or just learn more about it, do check out the full review on MLS.com on the link below. So we're getting started right now. The game did have an opening cutscene, which by itself is already a pretty huge plus. So that shows the developers spent some time on the game, they care about the story, and clearly they had a little bit bigger budget than in most of these games. So our character classes include Knight, Mage, Gunner, and Psychic. Psychic is an odd name for a class. Why, he's gonna tell my fortune and kill me that way? You're gonna die tomorrow, and then GG, you die. So he's got a hammer. And we have actually three playable races. The Kartu, the Liru, and the Sapiens. So it looks like uh, these guys are the smallest. Oh, can we get a lolly, female lolly? And yes, we do. GG. <laughs> this game has actually been out in Korea for a little while. I think it released in uh, late 2014 in Korea as uh, Elite Lord of Alliance. However, in uh, globally, it is called In Spirit Online and is in closed beta as of this video. So we are, we're we're going to make the lolly real quick. And our skin color options, hair color options. Let's check out, let's check out the face options first. So there's actually how many of these there are. What is this face? It's like I'm so high right now. <laughs> what the hell? Let's see what else we got going on. Uh, this, this one's even more like, I'm so high right now. <laughs> we have, uh, scroll through these. Uh, there's actually a lot of options, I mean, more so than a lot of games. The art style reminds me of, um, of, uh, Dragon Nest from Nexon, as well as maybe Dragon Saga, an older game. But let's see. We're gonna go with, honestly, the first one was the best so far. Let's go with 26. And you have actually a decent amount of, wow, this one looks really cool. I like those eyes a lot. So I think we're gonna go with number four. But let's go with them real quick. And let's, how, how much does this go? There's actually... For a game, you know, with the with these numbers, there's actually a lot of these options. Actually, I'm going with this one. I, I love different colored eyes. They look kind of cool. So you can see yourself in different preview outfits as well. And different poses. Well, bam, there we go. Try this one. Ready to rock. So four playable classes. You can see what their stats are over here. And you have three playable races. And pretty decent character customization stuff. We're going to play as a gunner, though. Because I like, I like, I like being a gunner. And we're going to... Let's rock this out. Let's go. And my character name will be Rimote, which will likely be available because we are in uh, in beta right now anyway. So why do I do a kick? I don't know. I'm like I'm a gunner, not a monk. So of course we got a huge belt, cliche anime. And let's see, in spirit online, attempting a stage four higher reinforcement may lower the odds of something. So stage four reinforcements, guys, serious business. Talking to NPCs. Wow, I need a tutorial to teach me how to talk to an NPC. Spoilers, you left click on them. So wow, right away, the game's got a uh, Korean voice acting uh, built in, which is kind of nice. A lot of games, these games don't have any voice acting in game. Take out the crazy from my inventory, then go to Armu. What is she talking about? The crazy from my inventory? Keep two things in mind before entering the battlefield. First, you can die at any time. Heart attack's a pretty serious business, bro. You can just die at any time. Is that what she's talking about? Second, do not be afraid of the first statement. All right, wow, all right. So definitely just, you can die anytime and don't be afraid of dying. So if I'm not afraid of dying, should I not worry about it? I don't, I don't know! Okay, XP for this. Moving your character. So oddly, you don't move with left click. You can move with right click, as it says over here. And you can also move with the arrow keys. And let's see if WSA... Nope. WSADs do not work. So that's kind of odd. The first reaction is you go to WSAND. And left click is usually your first reaction for moving. But in this game, it is right click. So let's go move this way. And there's an arrow over here. So follow the arrow to get to the operation center. So the game tells you where to go. These guys are tiny. First, let's see how kawaii my character is. She's so cute. I, I like different colored eyes. And uh, I like how these the bigger guards over here are just taller and just bigger. Let's go with the EverQuest style system where the bigger you are, the higher level you are. Wait one more. Not wait one moment. Wait one more. The game's translations need a little bit of work. If you want to use classic mouse movement, that you can do it through the key assignment options by enabling left click movement. So if you don't like the right click movement, you can change it. Concentrate, victory is ours. Yo, you are you are just glowing. Super Saiyan over there. Are you a trainee by the Princess Rayara? I am. So you can click F or just click next over here. Navigating NPC chats, D and F. We're gonna just click F. We're not gonna read these. Because the translations are actually not that great. So it's got this top-down isometric perspective. But you have some control over the camera because you can zoom in and you can see further out. But I you can't seem to move the camera, like you can't pan it. At least I can't figure it out right now. Open inventory I and check my belongings. We got a uh, auto artillery. Let's equip that. Good to go. I got a cannon now. I'm not just a, I'm just a gunner. I got a cannon. So we have a uh, seven nights disguise package. Some some free cash shop goodies right now, which normally you don't get, but the game is in closed beta, so they give everybody some free stuff to check it out. 
Yo, I got a VIP thing. I got a marrow egg. Let's open that. It's a pet. Nice. We got a cloak of frost, increasing my skill gain or something. And what, anything else we got? I'm gonna open this one too. Why not? Close this out. Surprise box! Guys, are you guys ready to be surprised? Oh man, we got the rich egg melon egg. Egg melon? An egg melon egg. Double egg. Alright, close it out. Left click to perform a standard attack. Uh, so let's go and left click attack this guy over here. Alright, so we're using our cannon on that guy. Easy. One kill, one combo. Easiest kills of my life. So we're killing some ogres. Some giant ogres. So we kill three of these and we're good to go. Hold down shift and left click to attack an area. So that's actually really cool too. You're not required to like left click an enemy. You can actually aim your skills if you want to. Though I'm not sure why you'd want to rather than left click on them. But the game gives you that option. Clicking A does it too. So it's not just a simple point and click game. You have control over where you attack. Which is definitely nice. Fire the launch pad. Let's do it boys. We got this. So we're launching a flare. And we gotta talk to Lee and Leandel. Leandel. I can't read sometimes. But only sometimes. So we got reinforcements over here. Uh, they're... Wow, this guy's OP. Just kill that guy like one hit. But so can I. Talk to this dude. A drawn bow guides the soul to the arrows of time. Is that what she said? Alright. Complete these real, this quest real quick too. And uh, this game's been out again in Korea for a little while. And it's a closed beta right now in North America. Worth mentioning too right away. Is that the game won't have any IP restrictions at all. Besides Koreans. If you're living in Korea, you cannot play in the global version. But otherwise, it should be open to everybody. Seki must be able to defeat an ogre pack. I wasn't aware a group of ogres was called a pack. Like a pack of wolves, I understand. Pack of ogres? Changing your battle stance. You can you can have three different battle stances to deal with any situation. Cannon, rifle, and bow. Press F1. Alright, that's kind of cool. Hold on. F1. We got F2. F3. Back to F1. So we have three different stances, and you have different skills per stance. That's actually definitely an innovative system in the game. So we can, can we, we can switch with him instantly. Can we do it in battle too? Soon to find out. Kill some of these assault force ogres down over here. So we were using cannon earlier, and now we got skills. But let's try using uh, let's try using this one. Let's kill these dudes. Wow, a we op. I just kill these guys almost instantly. The big guy's still up though. Easy, we kill that guy too. But I'm just left clicking on him too. But you can also use the shift left click if you want to aim wherever you want. That's still really cool. These guys spawn instantly though. So we're next. We got to go use cannon stance. We got to use a skill. Number one over there. Let's one shot these guys with this skill. Changing your battle stance now. F2. Yo, I've already done all of these. Okay, we did that one. Now we got this one. So you can presumably miss with your abilities too because you got to kind of aim them. Are we good? We got to do. We got to do this one again. Didn't count. Then we gotta kill some more invaders now. Some invader ogres. So we're in the tutorial as you can see in the top left. So this is a game I guess the tutorial is kind of necessary because it's gotta teach you the stand system in the game. Definitely a different kind of system. Yo, I got an awesome cape. Let's kill this. I wanna check out the other goodies I got from those boxes. They can give me a lot of freebies at the beginning. Kill these things. I gotta kill a spearhead ogre now. Should be easy. You can't really die in a tutorial. I feel like if you die in a tutorial, it's time to uninstall. You know, you, you're kind of kind of awful if you die in a tutorial. In before I actually die now, after saying that, we're killing the spearhead ogre, man. He, this guy, this guy dies in like easy. These are abilities on him too. Abilities do massive AOE damage. Wait, one more tip. All these exclamations. The game is so excited. The force of hallucination. Is that where we go to get get high or something? All right, don't wander around here, you bro. You call me a weakling? You wanna fight? You made quite an impression with your achievements. I had my eye- Yo, you can't have your eyes on me and they call me a weakling. You're just a jerk, man. You wanna talk weakling? These two guards suck. Three damage? Three damage? I auto attack for 177. Get good noobs. Call me a weakling. It's pleb. You can probably kick his ass too. I've been stopping the greenhorns here for the Rumen Valley. Rumen? It's not you might as well make it Ramen Valley. It's one difference instead, and everybody likes ramen. Except over there too. We got, we got more gear. So we can go that way. Can we go this way? Uh, why not? Ask for in the force hallucination. Why not? Oh man, we're in the force hallucination. Shit's getting real. Eliminate everything in your way. This guy's like appearance does not match the game's like really cutesy anime environments. Actually, only my character is really cutesy. Otherwise, things look kind of normal. FFF. Skip these. Click the button to start the quest. Let's do it, boys. We're planting it. It just popped up. Let's follow. So now we're going this way. Let's check out the games. Uh, let's check these out real quick too. I got I got the Postman May. So those are appearance stuff. That looks. Oh my god, it looks so much more kawaii now. Awesome. 
she got can I steal an egg? Uh, this this I got a rich egg melon egg over here. So we got another pet. Open this menu. Pet box. Yo, I got two pets. Who could grow? Oh god. Uh, this one. Let's grow this one. Make it happen. Uh, we don't have any experience yet for it. But hopefully, can we equip this? Yes, we can. Oh my god, I got an awesome looking sheep thing. It's called a tough marrow. Can I ride it? Mount? Yes. Yes. Here we go. I cannot ride a pet in this area. Shucks. We'll do that later. Probably because it's, it's the newbie tutorial area and we can't do it. Arsonist ogres. I didn't know ogres were arsonists. Mount the counterattack. I want to mount up right now, but I can't. In order to mount up, I want to click on it. The game wants me to click on this, but I can't. Game, please. Let's try using this attack. And we got to kill the ogre leader, man. We got the, the big boss over here. So the cool thing is you can you can switch between your uh, stances like really quickly in combat. Like That one like knocks me back a little bit, so... I can imagine using that strategically to retreat and to reposition would definitely be useful. And the fact that you need to switch between stances often makes you kind of push a lot of buttons at once in combat, which is definitely pretty fun. The combat is definitely uh, pretty nice in the game. So even though you got the isometric top-down view, you can still uh, zoom in and get like a bigger perspective. Many captains of the alliance insisted that Guantara, fatally wounded, couldn't have run far. So they order knights to comb through Run Ruman Valley. Guys, it's 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 Ruman Valley in my heart forever. So let's talk to I love Jesus, another player in the game. So now we can see other players. So we're in actual uh, persistent area in the game. This guy's drunk. He's stumbling around. Pick up, pick up. All right, we got. Can we ride? Can we? Can we? Ride? Yes. We are on their awesome mount. This, it got bigger though. It'd be cool if I can ride it while it's tiny. Yo, know, how awesome is it? I'm prancing on it, dude. This game has got awesome animations. I do want to say right away, interface-wise, presentation-wise, the game looks really nice. Let's get past these. Alright, we got, we, got, we got some quests to do. Quest to rock. I gotta try item scrapping. Or save location. You want me to go this way? Let's go this way. So, I guess this is my... My returning position, so it's kind of like your bind stone, where you want to bind to when you die. You can probably respawn here, and you can click T to return there, which is nice. So we did that already. Can't talk to this guy again. No, I got, I got to do, uh, I got to do the scrapping. Let's do the scrapping, boys. Scrap. Not enough. I, I can't even scrap. The game is lying to me. It wants me to scrap, but I can't scrap. Let's talk to, uh, let's talk to Claire. Super kawaii chicken town. For all these. I want to leave kind of kill some more stuff now that I finished the tutorial. You can grow your pets and combine you can combine pets. That's kinda of cool. I'll to bring up the pet menu. So this pet's got increased movement speed 40%. But this one. Uh, you must dismount first. Okay, we're gonna dismount. I can't do after I close this menu first. Let's finish this. Grab these quests. Okay, get out of there. We're good to go. I gotta grow my pet. Okay, let's can we grow this right now. Do I have experience for this? I gotta dismount real quick. Okay, okay, we got we got this. The game really wants me to dismount. We're gonna dismount. Alright. Elk, bring up that menu. And we unequip this. And can we. Let's put this back up here. I wanna grow it. Let's grow. Can we grow this one? Nope, can't grow that one. Let's dismount this and grow this one. No, we can't do it yet. We need ingredients to grow them. But the game gives you fuse and evolve options. So that's actually kind of cool. Ooh, are, we, are we literally feeding it this? Let's do it. Let's feed it. I just, yo, I just fed the the frog thing to my my my, my marrow. My marrow is ready to rock now. Let's equip this bad boy. Okay, we're good. We're good. Close this out. Equip. Awesome. Now he's level two. Did I get faster mount speed? He can repair my equipment. That's kind of cool. And he picks up loot on the ground. All right, got that quest done. I got some more goodies. Pure ice powders. Uh, choose a reward. I want all of them. Okay, I might as well get the fire crystal. So I guess you can use those for other goodies later, maybe to uh, further upgrade. Let's grab these quests real quick, I'm not going to read these, just because I want to I wanna leave town pretty quickly. Let's mount up to do this quicker. I want to try my other cosmetic stuff too. Right, we good, we good, we Gucci dude. Now we're going over here. Elite Lord Shop, so that's probably where the name, the Korean version got its name. The Elite Lord of Alliance, or uh, Eloa online in Korea. Not sure why it's called In Spirit globally, but I guess it's just what they went with. Regional map. Click on this to bring up your map. So can we click on here? Yes, you can. It makes navigation super, super easy. So let's grab this last quest from, hopefully our last quest from Armu. Then we're going to rock the Force of Hallucination. Are these dungeons? Because like, they look different. So this is like a house. 
And ex these are town exits. And this one, I don't know what that is. Grab this quest. Level 3. And it tells you what abilities you get too, right on the screen. Awesome. I want to see the skill menu too. Alright, look, I'm going outside town. It's kind of on my way. So we got to make it happen. It's right there. A lot of other players over here. Again, the game is in closed beta as this video. Hopefully, it'll roll out to open beta fairly soon. Close beta be. Oh, click on this quest. Easy. You cannot use Melee's observation diary in this area. Did it go closer? There we go. Awesome. Easy quest. We got, we got an achievement. Click on this bad boy. So, no, you actually get something for achievements. A lot of games, uh, when you get an achievement, you just get like an achievement point and they don't do anything. Here, you get rewards. I guess I got money for it. I got, I got a title too. Errand boy. Cool. Close it out. Let's roll. Accept that quest too. Press spacebar to roll. That's an awesome name for a quest to teach you how to roll. I gotta do it twice. Is that a cooldown? Alright, here we go. Now we're good to go. Easiest quest of my life. So now we talk to... Shit my way to. Might as well. Alright, NPCs. I'm done with you guys. Let's go outside town. Finally. F5 to get on there. And let's go. Music in the background is nice too. Show titles. Let's check that out too real quick. I want to see if this is like, um, if the areas outside town are persistent, and they are persistent outside town. You can see other players over here. Grab these quests. Alright, good, I got some more goblins now. Sort of menu, our character information. I can't see my character because my awesome pet is in the way. So we can see my uh, titles. Did I unlock a title yet? Oh, there we go, I saw one. Can I just see like the ones I have? Uh, gained, there we go. Errand boy, uh, awesome. It's, might as well use it. Do I get stats for it? Maybe. Do I get something for it? It's equipped. Uh, magic. I get something maybe. But it doesn't really tell us. Close it out for now. My bazooka, my rifle, and my bow. So you have three different weapons. So Not only do you have to find like your weapon for your character class, you gotta find three different weapons. I suspect the other classes have a similar system because that seems to be the game's spiel. It tracks your uh, elemental damage and stats over here. What else we got going on? Close that out. We're good to go. Let's see what else is going on over here real quick. We got Transcend. We got Quest Monster Encyclopedia. That's kind of cool. You can see all the air, all the enemies in whatever area you're in. It's super useful. Following rewards are given. So when you kill it for the first time, when you kill it, you get rewards too. That's cool. Encourages exploration in the Ramen Valley. It's always going to be the Ramen Valley. Let's kill some of these guys. Dusty Buck Goblins. Yo, I hate Buck Goblins. Why are they called Buck Goblins anyway? So they're very, very easy. You do like really crazy AoE damage with your abilities. Bam. Easiest kills. Goblin Skemmer Dagger Expert. Not really much of an expert, dude. You're getting destroyed. I got the Aaron Boy uh, icon equipped. So the Korean, there's still Korean voice acting too. They should keep that. It's a nice touch. Again, you have to kind of aim abilities too, which is nice. Click on this. Unlocking more skills they level up. So that kind of like snares them too, so switch over here. I can imagine PvP having to switch between like three different weapon types and access all your skills that way. It's definitely a little bit complicated. Alright, we got some loot over there. It's picking up automatically. Awesome, got this thing unlocked. Claim reward, baby. Awesome. 15 silver, go me. I can't get Can I click on it? I want, I want it. Okay, I, I can't grab it yet. Close it out. Use our potion, and now we're going up there. Let's see what else I got going on anyway. I want to see my other uh, outfits. I want to try this one next. Alright, those guys all died. And let's equip. We got this. Oh man, this guy's still alive. Let's kill him real quick. They respawn really, really quickly though. Some areas outside town are persistent, but I'm sure there are some uh, instance dungeons as well. Equip our other goodies anyway. These green ones are the new ones. So these are all better than what I got right now. Twisted muzzle. And let's check this one out. Might as well. Oh my god, it looks so awesome! Look how kawaii I look! Look how awesome that feather hat is. It reminds me a lot of Dragon Nest right now, the art style in the game. I, I actually like the graphics a lot. They're cute and they're nice. Interface is uh, super easy to use too, and nicely presented. So we're gonna check out which one next? Let's check out this one. Oh, just I'm completely covered. I look like a knight. Very cliche. I, I, I like probably these two the best so far. We're gonna just let's go kill something right now. Do I, do I need to kill these? Maybe. So let's switch back to this. I have the most skills from my bazooka right now. Easy kills. 
You can all attack too, which I've yeah, I'm not I haven't been doing too much because I, I have abilities. Why why have to all attack if I got abilities anyway, you know? Easy kills. Now I got the pet picks up all the loot too. But I hopefully you can get these uh like these cosmetics are probably only available through the cash shop at first, because uh right now I have them because it's in closed beta, and the game gives you uh, free cash shop goodies to test it out. Which is always awesome. Easy. Check out the skill menu. Guys, K is always a skill hockey. And any, any Korean MMO. So, wow, there's a lot going on over here, which I have no skill points yet. So I'm sure you can customize this further later on, but there's a lot going on over here. This page looks a little bit intimidating right now. Skill page 1. So you can expand these. This one requires gold. These ones require NS, which presumably is the game's cash shop. So special skills. Tells you when you get these too, maybe. So there's a lot going on here. Uh, luckily, we have no skill points right now, so I don't have to explore this. But you can see all your future skills over here for each of the three paths. But again, the combat system is definitely neat. And even though it's an isometric game, you can zoom it to see further ahead. Or you can play from the top-down view. But I don't think you can change the camera. And moving with the arrow keys is, is, is functional too. We have to go down this way. Where am I going? But guys, actually, I am, I am running out of time. I've already gone over the 10 to 15 minutes as I usually do. I'm in Robin Valley. It's always going to be Robin Valley in my heart. Not Rumen. Uh, Shadow Valley. So it looks like these areas, like, I think this might mean, like, Persistent World Area, and I don't know what this means. It could be a dungeon. If you guys do want to play uh, In Spirit Online, or just learn more about it, do check out the full review on MMOs.com on the link below. Anyway, guys, I gotta put on this hat before I say later, guys. There we go. I look so much cuter this way. Later, guys.